thank all being with us, participants of the special, special Collegium Carpaticum uh, lecture. Uh, as, I, as I said, uh, it is very, very difficult time. And in this difficult time, it is, in my opinion, it is very important to preserve our relations and our communication. Currently, currently, the only option is online. We know it. When it comes uh, to the topic of, the, of the today's lecture, Hungary has been a country close to Poland for a thousand years. And the Hungarians have been people close to Poles. Um, uh, for a thousand uh, years. Hence, it is a very interesting uh, topic for, for us and for, and for me personally. And, um, and uh, something about today's lecture, he is one of the best specialists in Poland and maybe also in Hungary, graduate of the famous schools in, in Hungary. And uh, currently, uh, he has a, a great job, great plan. He is a director of the Felczak uh, Institute for uh, Polish-Hungarian cooperation. It is very, very interesting and very important place in our plans for uh, in Poland to have uh, close relations with uh, hung Hungarians. But uh, this uh, lecture is uh, also very interesting for, uh, for our, our job in, in Collegium Carpaticum project. Project is very our project is very interesting, very very important. But in this time we have some some problems with communication. As I said, only this way is uh, possible. Uh, I think I would like to especially thank uh, our guest, Professor. Szymanowski for, for his pro proposition with his lecture, with his today's lecture. Dear lecturer, dear friend, the floor is yours. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you for your invitation. Uh, my lecture will be very short. Uh, I would like to explain in a few uh, points uh, what is what was and what is the the uh, the rule of the Hungary in 20th century um, and the, uh, let's start uh, from Budapest Budapest city um, at the turn of um, 19 and 20 centuries uh, is one of the Budapest was the one of the fastest development developing cities um, on the world. And the number of its inhabitants grows more than 10 times during one generation. Uh, the second metro in Europe after, after London, um, the first fun parks, amusing parks, the, the, a lot of uh, new bridges, a lot of uh, uh, a new, uh, um, a quite new uh, channel system um, starts in, in Budapest. Uh, so, where uh, if uh, the first, the world war first, mm, not outbreak in 1914, 
Budapest, like city, uh, Budapest uh, center would look today like uh, Venice. So you would sail on on Budapest um, in gondolas. The first, uh, the World War of First, the first ends with heavy losses for Hungarians. Over one million citizens died. Um, after World War the First, in Hungary breaks out of um, the revolution in form Soviet Republic. That was the one of the first communist countries on the world in this time. Why communist car country? Because, sorry, because the, the mass terror, only the state property, establishment, establishment of collective farms, that was the cruel real, reality in Hungary after the war in 1919. In 1920, based on Trianon Peace Treaty, according to Trianon Peace Treaty, Hungary losses to um, a lot of its territory, two thirds of its territory, and half of its population compared to the Austro-Hungarian era. And first of all, one third of ethnic Hungarians ended up outside Hungary, mainly Transylvania and Transcarpathia or south part of Slovakia. So that's why Hungary before the Second World War, puts to the revi revi revisionist states. Uh, the new frontiers mean an economic catastrophe, catastrophe uh, for the state after the, after the First World War. Also in 1939, Hungarian citizens are still around 25% poorer than in 1914. They have lower income. Inflation in Hungary after the war is higher than in Germany. That was the world record, trillions of percent. This means that prices in stories were doubling daily during the one day. In the late of 30s and early 40s, Hungary received some territorial pieces from already, already fascist Slovakia and Romania. In 1939, the joint Polish-Hungarian border is established, but established. It exists only for a very short time, until September uh, in 1939. But thanks to border, to joint border, civilians, a lot of civilians and soldiers can escape from 
the German and Soviet occupation zone. Mm. So this border saves saved the lives of about saved lives uh, twenty thousand of Pol of Polish officers, for instance. Since 1941, Hungarian troops have been fighting in the East, in the Soviet Union, Stalingrad, 200,000 Hungarian soldiers. Less than half will survive the battle. Stalingrad battle. Only about 6,000 soldiers will return to the country. 6,000 soldiers will return to the country. The last Hungarian soldiers will return from Soviet Union after 1989. A little fun fact. Hungary was a parliamentary democracy during the Second World War, and the Kingdom also. And the leader of the Hungarian Fascist Party, uh, is losing, was losing elections, and he was imprisoned from time to time. The fascists came, came to power in 1944 in Hungary when the German army began to occupy Hungary. In this time, began mass holocaust in Hungary. 600 Jews are sent to Auschwitz in the summer of 1944. So something we call Hungarian Holocaust, like the latest or, or the, the, uh, the latest wave of of Holocaust in Europe. Another point, important point in Hungarian in Hungarian history, is the date of 1945. Budapest is was the longest Byzantine state capital in Europe over two months. Most of Budapest is was destroyed, just like Warsaw. The communist regime in Hungary after 1945 was one of the most cruel regime. Only from Budapest, from Budapest alone, sixty thousand people are was sent to concentration camps. Brutal collectivization causes hunger and in, in, and in anti-communist uprising in 1956. Uh, the uprising was broken by the Soviets about 2,000 people are was killed. 20,000 20, um, sent to prison. 200 Hungarians, 200,000 Hungarians escaped abroad in 1956 from Hungary. The losses of the Soviets uh, 
are still secret today. Since, uh, since the 60s, communists in Hungary has been the mildest in the Eastern Bloc. That was so-called goulash, soft communism. The death penalty is not carried out. No political prisoners. Peasants can own one hectare ground for their own needs. Small private, private enterprises may operate. And uh, Hungarian citizens from 60s could travel to West, to capital, to capitalist countries. In the 80s, it was the, the Hungarian communists was the first, were the first who started political and economic reforms in our region. In 1984, they get in touch with George Soros. And two years later, uh, let him set up the first foundations, his foundations in Hungary. In uh, 1999, Hungary joined to NATO and in, nine, in 2004 joined the EU in the group of the first Central European states. Together with the Czech, with the Czech Republic, Slovakia and Poland, Hungary is one of the richest countries of the former East Bloc. They also have the stable political system. Almost all the political parties established in the late 80s are still in parliament. Only Councillor Angela Merkel has been Prime Minister in Europe for a longer time than Prime Minister Viktor Orban. Hungarian scientists were among the world's leaders in the 20th century. They participated in the creation of the US film industry, but also the atomic bomb. Albert St. Giorgi developed a method of obtaining vitamin C in 1933. The pen is also a Hungarian invitation in 1942. The method used to produce the vaccine against COVID-19 was developed by Hungarian professor Koriku. So this was the 15 points about Hungary in 20th century. Uh, the bibliography of the topic I will be sent you in the form of two short films. And uh, please see this film about Hungarian language and some interesting facts about Hungary about Hungary in 20th century, the end of 20th century. Thank you very much for uh, attention and uh, have a good time in our
winter you goodbye thank you thank you dear professor and uh, see you at 11 uh, at 11 o'clock of course thank you thank you thank you again